Yeah, we totally should have done like kids entertainment YouTube instead of fishing lures. The amount of hours that these two are responsible for on these channels, uh, I would love to have those analytics. Tilt cups daily, yeah. Remember, it's not just a hobby, it's a lifestyle, folks. But uh, anyway, it's new mold day today, and I'm uh, really excited to, to do this one um, for two reasons. It's gonna be fun because it's high cavity count. Like, by the end of this video, we're gonna have a stack of worms to let y'all uh, check out. And then it's also a continuation of the AR bait mold series, okay? So recently we've had quite a bit of traffic in the uh, Angling AI Molds AR bait AR tail series. Uh, not long ago, they put out the AR frog, which had the mini AR tail. Um, and then most recently, the AR craw, which a lot of you have picked up and y'all are doing awesome stuff. Keep them coming. I want to see more AR craws, which also has the same tail. And then now is the mini ARS worm. Okay. So there's now three AR worms, uh, one AR craw, one AR frog. And I did, let me know if I'm leaving something out, but um, this whole series just keeps growing and it's getting better and better. And uh, this one is no exception. So let's go in and check it out. But first, we're going to do a quick bait reveal. Late last night, I um, did some like really complicated layered uh, long ear sunfish that, um, that another bait maker had kind of put out as a challenge on one of the Facebook groups. Let's go see how we did. All right, we are back in the fish cave, and let's take a look at these. Yeah, so uh, a lot going on here. So this is the uh, AI six-inch swim bait. I like to do a lot of my, you know, complicated skin pours into six-inch mold. It just feels like home to me. This is the mold that I learned on. Um, so yeah, lots of different layers going on. Um, here's some of the pucks left over. So we have sort of like a real just snotty, ugly brown orange. Um, that's the tail color right there, as you can see. Um, that's the orange in the belly down below there. And then here's the blue. Yeah, so there it is right there. And uh, beautiful long ear sunfish. And uh, just an, an overall light color fish. You know, a lot of my bluegill pores, I like to kind of fade them to a dark top color but as you can see this one had that burnt orange top so it's it's overall a very light colored um light colored fish you can see the blue is real faint so I, I probably actually even got a little bit too much blue in there but uh yeah not bad for a first try and i mean trying to hand pour something like that and using only plastic layers is um <laughs> almost a stupid endeavor it's it's yeah, but I'm pretty happy with those. Okay, everybody. So, like we said earlier, it is new mold day, which, I mean, I can't really think of a better day for a bait maker than when you get new stuff, whether it's uh, new buckets of dead-on plastic, new colors, maybe some new hyper shifts, um, obviously new molds, or if you just nail the perfect bait. Um, today, it's new molds, so let's take a look. Um, this is the new AR worm. I think it's technically the ARS worm, but here's what's really cool. Boom, look at that. It comes in a giant tin cavity, all right, for absolute mega output, okay? And let me uh, get this back together. Also, you can get a five cavity. So let's take a look at that. There's the five cavity. Yeah, this is one sexy little worm, okay? And of course, in true angling AI fashion, to give you the most value for your money, bang per buck, you can also use your AR mini tail mold, okay? You can see right there, mini AR, okay? So this tail mold now fits three molds. This is the tail mold for the frog, for the craw, and then now for the small AR worm. So you really can't beat that. You get one tail mold and it has functionality for three entirely different baits whatsoever. Um, I think that's pretty cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda maybe get some close-up shots of them and then we'll look at the listings for these on the website so that you can see um, all the information that AI has on it. 
price, and um, all of that good stuff. Okay, so here we have the listings on the website. So you can see that it is 4.15 inch, okay? All right? And uh, so here is the five cavity right there. All right? So you can see all the, uh, oops, information there for the five cavity. And then here's the big daddy 10 cavity, all right? So those are the two listings right there for it on the website, 4.15. Well, I don't know, one says 4.1. One says 4.15. Basically, it's just over four inches long. It's uh, it's 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 the perfect size body to fit that tail. So there it is, right there. And then of course, um, just to complete, I guess the series. This is the original AR worm right here, the 575. And then there is, of course, the big seven-inch Magnum AR worm, which is core shot. Okay. So, but here's the new baby one right here. And um, we'll just take a couple of a uh, couple of little quick glances here. You can see all of the um, <clears throat> all the work that goes into the venting along the body and along the tails. I always like to to look at the paths for the venting. You know, venting is is what makes injection molds really possible, <laughs> or else they would never turn out. So um, that's what we're looking at there. And here's the five cavity version. And then like I mentioned earlier, if you have the tail mold, right, there it is. What color should I make? So many options. Kind of panicking because I don't have a plan, you know? All these flakes, all these pigments, and I'm like completely, I just can't make up my mind what we're gonna do. So it might be something totally boring like black with blue flake, but and you know what, that might actually look pretty good considering we're about to make a ton of these. I just don't know what to do. All right, yeah, so we're gonna go with something simple. K-I-S-S, -S, KISS, keep it simple, stupid. That's what I always say. Just black with blue flake. And this is a easy, pretty color that won't, uh, won't detract from the mold, won't detract from the bait, but will show it off very nicely. So it's a very, very complicated recipe, black, and blue flakes. This is this is as difficult as those uh, sunfish we showed you earlier. So you're really, really, I'm just kidding. But no, sometimes even the simple things turn out to be not simple. So, all right, it goes with anything in life, I guess. Something that you thought you had figured out, one day you don't have it figured out. Okay, yeah. Let's see how saturation is. So his tails are flat and we still want to be able to see, yeah, that's looking about right. A little bit more blue flake because you really can't have enough when it's the only color flake in the mix. All right. What I also like to do sometimes is to mix in small silver flake with my black with blue flake. Just kind of gives it a slightly different look than, than what we're all used to seeing. But yeah, I think that right there will look nice. Alrighty, here we go. So I'm kind of curious here. I've got a 10 ounce injector, okay? And I think it's gonna comfortably fill both of these, even though it's high cavity count. Um, the cavities are small, so here we go. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we could have done that with like a six ounce injector, maybe even a four ounce. All right, yeah, we'll meet y'all back in just a second. All right, let's go with the five cavity first. Oops, drum roll please. Yeah. Look at that. They all kind of stayed in place. All pretty like. Yeah. Got an excellent fill on that. Look at that. Perfect. It's like a string of pearls. Yeah. 
look at that. So as you can see, just size reference. You know, I'm just kind of an average sized person with average sized hands, but you know, there's about the size of the bait. 4.1, of course. Yeah. There it is. Oop, almost, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Well, let's get on this side. Wow. Yep. All 10 seem to have filled beautifully. And uh, that's just a cool sight, just getting that many of them. So just like that, in the blink of an eye, we have quite a string of absolute bass-destroying AR worms here. Look at that. All right. Well, what do y'all think? I say we go hang these up, and, uh, and then it's on to the next round. All right, here we go. So now we got out the small injector, the six-ouncer, and I think it's going to fill everything just fine. It's generally better to go with the smallest size injector that will do the job. And by do the job, I mean fill all the cavities. You know, a larger injector that's pushing a higher volume of plastic sometimes will fill the mold faster than you really want it to. And you won't get as clean of an injection as if you would use a smaller volume injector that's just going to push the plastic just a little slower. You know, just by nature, just by the nature of this injector, having a smaller diameter, right? One inch of push on this is pushing less plastic than the other one, which is slower that it's gonna fill those cavities. And generally speaking with injection, slower, the, the slower you inject a mold, the better it's gonna fill out, and it allows air time to escape through the vents. If you just push everything too fast, sometimes you'll run into problems. But you know, this hobby is like anything else, there's variables. Some molds feel better when you just push them real fast. Maybe they have like a lot of small, thin little legs and extremities. Um, but as a general rule, the slower the better. And I would always go with the smallest size injector that will fit the job. All right, let's see how round two did. Let's go ahead and crack the big one here. The monster mold. Yeah. That is awesome. Yep, that's even cleaner than the first round. Just the, the bodies just look a little cleaner and that's usually uh, when your mold's nice and warm, things just kinda start getting better and better as you keep going. All right, yeah, man. So this one, this one's a lot like the new AR crawl. It's a plug it and play it mold. It's not gonna shoot temperamentally. Um, pretty much just set it on the table and run it and everything's gonna work so I've yet to see one have an actual boo-boo on it or you know a dent or an error or something didn't fill so uh, so far we are batting a thousand here <clears throat> and we already have 30 of them yeah round three looks good is that not satisfying to watch right there Watch this, watch this. Oh yeah. Bait's being born. Man, that little thing is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so the mold has passed the uh, how does it shoot test. Now let's see how it does laminates. All right, so we're just gonna kind of have some fun here. And we're just going to mix up something totally random. This is kind of a, a exciting color right here. If it'll focus. Dark cinnamon. Sort of a kind of dark brownish red. Which, um, yeah, as you can see there. Which uh, they absolutely named it perfectly. Because that is exactly cinnamon in my book. Yeah. And then for the other side, we're going to go with one of my uh, golden oldies here. Just emerald. Emerald green right there. If I can get it to... Good lord. Well, hold on now. 
Might have to clean that off. Fun fact, I've had this exact bottle of Emerald Green since before I even started this channel. And uh, it's kind of showing its age. Come on now. Okay, well, anyway, we're going to kind of do a cinnamon and green laminate with lots of fun flakes. And uh, I have no idea how that's going to look. Yeah, i got to have more green here. It's like it, it's almost like it doesn't want to, uh, doesn't want to really, really spit it out for me. All right, here we go. We're just going to kind of throw some flake in there sort of at random just to have a lot of different colors and textures. Okay. So that's the big stuff. That's the 0 .062 size black flake. We're going to put that on the cinnamon side. All right, about a quarter of a teaspoon. And then because this is laminated with a green, we're going to put some small green flake on the cinnamon side to kind of hint and complement the green. And then we're going to go with um, an awesome color. If you don't have sort of a copper flake, you're really missing out on some cool stuff. So we're going to go with a good amount of copper flake there. All right, let's just stir that in and see what we get. Yeah, kind of a fun color there. All right, and then on the other side, the green side, we're gonna do a different size black. So we're gonna do the point, uh, the medium, 0 0.035, but we're gonna do it in square cut because that's what I have. All right, and then we're gonna go with a small silver flake on the green side and uh, see where that kind of takes us just a little hint of that all right so let's just see what we have here again this is just random color mixing this is not I'm not really going for any real certain uh, end result here just kind of seeing what this gets me all right, so we've got the two AR worm, uh, the, the mini AR worms lined up, and then one mystery bonus mold that I kind of want to see in this color. Here we go. I feel like this is going to have some sort of like a minty color vibe to it. Yeah. Something like that. All right, fingers crossed. All right, I'm actually kind of nervous now. I think this is gonna suck. We'll show it to you anyway. Blending block did a nice job. So, at least that. I, again, I need white. I need my white color. I would have dulled down the green a little bit and made it more of a creamy mint, and it would have probably done better than what we're about to see. So, I got to buy some white pigment. Come on. There it is. Ooh! That's actually pretty cool. Alright. So here is the cinnamon side. And as you can see, a lot of the green comes through even uh, on the cinnamon side, it almost looks like they're split tail colors, right? You've got the cinnamon and then the cream. That's a very cool thing. I was not expecting that at all. So I guess the green was just so strong, yeah, that it just blew through the cinnamon in the tails. Isn't that cool? Doesn't that look like I used the tail mold? It literally looks like those are split, split tail colors. That's incredible because they're totally not. 
Those, these are still totally laminates. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. Laminated very evenly. Yeah. Sorry, lighting's a little challenging. There's a lot of glare in here today. It's very, very bright out. Look at that. Pretty color, though. I have to say, this color is pretty. Probably not the best choice to demonstrate how even the, the mold can laminate, but very pretty. Very pretty. All right, let's look at the uh, five cavity here. Then after this, we'll play around with the tail mold. And do a uh, do a color with that. Yeah. There it is. Cool, cool. Yeah, you can you can see it better there. All right, mystery mold. Some of you may guess what this is. <laughs> the AR crawl. Yeah, I had to see what this looked like in the crawl, just to kind of stay with the theme of the ARS tail. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. That is cool. And there's another look at the worms. Well, we almost made it all video without the laundry Nazi. So we do have some laundry noise. But we uh, ran some chartreuse in the tail mold. And uh, here comes a color for the saltwater lovers. Because I think this worm would absolutely dominate in salt water. Throw this on a jig head and just swim it around and uh, see what happens. All right, pink bodies, here we go. What's really cool is that where the pink meets the chartreuse, it kind of makes an orange. You get sort of like an orange sherbet. It kind of looks like a popsicle. So it's a bright, fun color, which uh, to me automatically says salt water. So this entire recipe is that and that. Two great colors. So yeah, here we go. Yeah, check that out. Got them all laid out. But, yeah, look at that. There it is with the tail mold. See how I said that it was going to make an orange? I love that. A little illusion there with the pink layering um, with the uh, chartreuse. So you kind of get an extra little bonus orange color in there that you didn't have to work for. You didn't have to mix any orange. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. So yeah, tail mold works great. Gets a good bond there. Yeah. And uh, all the cavities filled. It still shoots great with the tails in. So yeah. It passed all the tests. All right, that was a lot of worm action. Um, I don't know if this video's done yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and film an outro right now, just in case. Um, I really wanna get some footage of this bait swimming in the water, of course, maybe try to take it fishing. Um, I gotta do a lot of house chores this weekend. Um, however, um, I did just kinda want to shoot a quick little outro here. Um, Awesome mold, injects really well, laminates well, tail mold obviously works incredible. Um, it's, really, it's really fun to have that 10 cavity and before you know it, you've got 50 of them. Um, man, there goes that laundry again. But um, in, in any event, definitely check it out. I'll put links in the description to the mold down below. Um, and of course, leave me um, a comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite. Did you like the black or blue flake? Did you like the cinnamon emerald uh, laminate? Or did you like the uh, Sherbert Popsicle um, saltwater color? Um, all three winners, um, yeah, had a great time with the mold. So anyway, I'm hoping to get a little bit of bonus footage at the end of this video. Um, but while I'm out here, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. We'll catch y'all in the next video. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And uh, we'll see you again.